Hey everyone, Captain Foley is back. So, the question today is, was The Force Awakens good? Or not so good? Dark side or the light side? I uh, had an opportunity to see it last night. I already put a post on my page about it. Basically detailing what we're going to talk about right now. This is spoiler free. I do plan on doing this... Uh, more detailed, spoiler-filled one down the road after I've seen the movie a few more times. Got my new Trooper shirt as well from Nerd Block. That's what I wore last night. So, it's a good movie. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying that. So it was good. Not as good as I expected or anticipated, and that's all on me. I had high expectations going into this thing. I've said since day one that J.J. would do Star Wars proud, so I was hoping that I was right. Um, and from everything I'd seen leading up to it, um, everything about the premiere, a lot of the initial reactions were very positive. So I went in thinking, all right, this is going to be a damn near perfect Star Wars movie. Yes and no. And I'm going to tell you basically why without telling you any plot points. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, my ex expectations were very, very high. I was engulfed the whole time in this movie. I was invested in it. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. But afterwards, when I left the theater, I felt uneasy and I wonder why the death of Spock is like an open wound no I'm sorry uh, something else anyway uh, <laughs> the um, I, I wanted more out of it uh, at the end and I was very conflicted about how I felt I wasn't sure whether I enjoyed it or not I did in the moment of it but at the end it just it didn't have that satiating feel that I needed from this movie. Uh, and I know there's a lot of un unanswered questions. There's a lot of, it's, it's going to be a trilogy, so there's two more to come. We got to wait years for those, just like um, with the original Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So fair enough. I get that. I really, really do. Um, so, but like I said, I really, to give it a fair review and a good review, I really need to see it a few more times. I just, this is my initial reactions, my gut feeling. After seeing it, I came home last night, I sat down, I wrote my little Facebook post and about my initial thoughts, and I watched a few things on YouTube about it, both spoiler-filled and um, non-spoiler reactions, and the, the reactions I've seen on social media are either you absolutely love this movie or you're kind of like me, you're not sure how to feel about it. Uh, one or two people actually hate it, but they're just, they're just haters, so. Um, <clears throat> there are, there are some very distinct JJ-esque moments in the movie that could have been handled a little bit better. But like I said, this is my first viewing of it. When Star Trek 2009 went to theaters, I saw it seven times in theaters. And people are going to be going, what? Why'd you say it seven times? It was a piece of shit. Well, yes and no. It had its good points. It had its bad points. The first time I saw it, I thought, this is it's a pretty good reboot. Uh, except for, aside from the Enterprise. I was not happy with the Enterprise at all, ever, watching those movies. So, this one, I had the same feeling leaving the theater. Like, yeah, this is a good movie. And then I, I had to, you know quelch that a little bit and just sit back and think is it really good or was it like JJ's Star Trek and when I got out of the theater and I started thinking about it and kind of mulling it over my head I don't know I don't know I got it has a good feeling to it but at the same time that Star Wars minutia is not there uh, I've been I'm in the middle of doing my Star Trek or Star Wars um, prequel movie reviews. I've already done episode one, uh, and 
I've been watching two and three, and you know they feel more Star Wars to me than JJ's did. I think it's just because George Lucas was there, that that George Lucas flair to it. And I know that I'm going to get a lot of static for that because a lot of people hate the prequels. I do, I'm do. i not a huge fan of them either. They do have their distinct flaws. But they at least felt, some of the time, <laughs> Star Wars. And I just... While this was Star Wars and while it did feel Star Wars in some spots, it didn't have that Lucas magic that it needed, I don't think. And I don't know how to explain that any better. I just, that's the, my gut feeling. That's just the reaction that I have. And I just want to get this out on video for you guys. And like I said, after I've done it, i watched it a few more times. I will definitely, definitely uh, be doing a spoiler filled review and kind of talk about it a little bit. But uh, one thing I got to compliment JJ for, the pacing in this movie was excellent. JJ, we, we know, almost good for his action sequences and whatnot. Pacing was good. Boom, 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 boom. Scene to scene. There was no scenes where you're like, oh, well, this is going to hurry up. I never once looked at the time. I never once really shifted in my seat. I was pretty much transfixed the whole time. It's just to, to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing. There was no time that I was like, what, when is this going to be over? Because this, this part, this 10 minutes is boring because it's just talking. Uh, even movies like uh, The Hobbit and stuff, there were so many boring parts where it's just like, let's go, let's get on some action. So there was none of that going on. At the end of the movie, I wanted it to continue um, for n numerous reasons. I was really kind of into it, and I could have watched episode eight right away if it had been made. <laughs> um, and I really feel like the ending needed another 10, 15 minutes just of some dialogue something just to kind of like I said kind of give you that feeling that you have some substance because it was kind of a disappointing ending in my opinion I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks that uh, under I have under utilization of a few characters one of which was my favorite and that was disappointing um, as you all know, my favorite character is R2-D2. This is not a spoiler, per se. This is just... If you don't want to know anything about the movie, um, you might want to... Actually, it doesn't even matter. Um, R2's in it. I mean, R2's awesome. He's in every Star Wars movie. He's basically the hero of every Star Wars movie. This one, he's very underutilized. See that, my little R2 plushie. My favorite, absolute favorite character. I love R2-D2, and I don't know. He was probably in it for a total of two minutes, tops. And what he did in those two minutes was very underwhelming. I was kind of satisfied with the ending of that, how he was involved in the actual end of the movie. But I really need more R2-D2 in my life. R2-D2 is a timeless character. The actor... Or the the canister doesn't age. I mean, I understand that uh, the actor inside ages, um, but he really wasn't needed. Or I don't even know if they used him for this uh, this one. Um, it's something that he can be in every movie ever till the end of time, and it doesn't matter because he's R two D two and he's not going to age really. He's just just shine him up. So the underutilization of R2-D2 and a few other characters really kind of bothered me. I, I figured they'd be more invested in it uh, than they were. Now, going into this, I had decided I was going to kind of boycott BB-8. I've talked about this a few times. Boycott little BB-8 here. Um, just because I'm a huge R2-D2 fan and I don't want BB-8 replacing R2-D2. Plus, I wasn't sure if I was going to like BB-8. I thought he might be the Jar Jar of the franchise, as I just, as I stated earlier, well, early, early on. But the more I saw, the more I liked BB-8. So, I do like BB-8 now. BB-8's a cute little character, uh, fun to watch, and definitely very able. I mean, he looks like he doesn't, wouldn't be able to do much. Surprisingly, this guy is very able. He's actually 
probably better than R2-D2. This guy can roll faster. He can run. He can run with uh, Ray and Finn at their speed, just booking it along the ground. R2-D2 could not move that fast. So this guy has a little, a lot of potential, and uh, I'm very happy with his utilization in the film. I do not want him replacing R2-D2, though. That's why I said I kind of like the end of the film with the way it happened. Um, the very end of the film, R2-D2 kind of goes with some people and BB-8 is left behind. So I don't know how that's going to play out in the next one. Uh, hopefully R2 has a bigger role in the next one. It looks like he's going to. Uh, and that would be obviously what I want to see. So that's the other thing. Underutilization of awesome characters such as R2-D2. And I know, at least from the original, you shouldn't expect him in these ones. I know, I get it. I really do. Stop. It's R2-D2. He is a Star Wars mainstay. He has to be there to keep everything cohesive and keep the story together and save the day. R2's amazing. Um, I, I have written down here, didn't really feel like Star Wars at times. Uh, it's true. Um, a lot of times... Like, if this, if this was a generic science fiction movie without the Star Wars label, you gotta think, would it be a good movie? Yes, I think it might be, but I don't think it would be anything special. Because it has the Star Wars label on it, it's automatically raised up in the ranks to something special. It didn't disappoint. It didn't let me down. It it sort of lived up to some of the hype in my head, but not as much as I had, and that's my fault. You shouldn't go into movies with expectations too high, uh, especially something that you've waited a long time for and is directed by somebody that you really don't have a lot of faith in. Even though from the beginning, from the get-go, if you look back at all my old videos, I've said from the time that we found out that J.J. was doing this, I said he's a Star Wars fan, he's going to do the franchise proud, I think he's going to do good work. He did. He did. Absolutely, he did. Um, so, I don't know. There was just a few moments. And the overall taste in my mouth after the movie was it didn't feel Star Wars enough. But I've only seen it one time. And to be honest, I really need to see things a few times before I can really give you my honest opinion. A lot of times I see something, I absolutely love it, end up hating it. Uh, or if I watch it once or hear a song once and I hate it, it usually ends up becoming one of my favorites. So... This kind of mediocre on the fence thing for me, it's hard to say. I need to watch it a few more times. So I want you guys to comment below uh, what your thoughts on it were. No spoilers. Any spoilers will just be removed without even being read. Um, I want to get them off of there as soon as possible because I don't want people that watch this to be, have spoilers if they're not interested. So those, can, those spoilers can wait for my spoiler-filled review. But I want you guys to know that... I will be watching it again relatively soon and there will be a spoiler filled trailer coming up or not a trailer spoiler filled sh um, discussion with me um, about this in the next couple weeks probably in the new year uh, early January early to mid January I would imagine so stay tuned for that if you guys are interested and please leave your comments below what you thought if you kind of mirror my views if I th you think I'm a complete idiot for what I'm saying uh, don't be rude. If you're rude, I've said this before, I don't tolerate that. Uh, you will be deleted and banned. Or your comment will be deleted and you will be banned from my channel. So it means you can't comment anymore. I don't put up with that bullshit. You can say, you can be critical and disagree with me in a polite, respectful manner. And that's how it's going to be. Anyway, guys, that is it for now. Hope you guys... I was going to say, I hope you enjoyed it. Well, it's just my reaction, so I don't know how you could really enjoy it. But I look forward to kind of hearing your thoughts on it, whether you think the same things that I do or not. Yeah. i got to say one more thing before I go. I just kind of, this kind of popped into my head. The bad guy in this, not very intimidating. He's not the most intimidating character, and he's definitely not as intimidating one iota nearly as much as Darth Vader. He just comes off as kind of immature, let's say. That's all I'm going to say right now. 
you guys will see what I mean when you see the movie. But like I said, there'll be more talking about him specifically uh, in the spoiler-filled review I do. Anyway, guys, that is really it for now. Uh, I will see you guys very soon. We got a bunch of stuff to do today. Uh, Samuel myself as far as Trek Yards goes, so good day. All right, I will see you guys very soon. It's Captain Foy signing off. Bye, everybody. May the Force be with you.